there are four basic rules of gun safety, which I'm sure some of our friends who want to ban guns, the anti-gunners, some of the Hollywood elite who've made their fame and fortune portraying gun violence, killing people, etc., etc., couldn't even begin to tell you number one, much less all of them. So, that's how it is. Probably your hunters, your concealed carriers, your responsible gun owners can rattle off all four to you. So, here's all four. Number one. You need to know the status of your gun. The rule is, treat every gun as if it was loaded. Every firearm is loaded until proven otherwise. You pick up a gun, somebody hands you a gun, you find a gun. It is loaded until you check it and verify it yourself. You never take the word of somebody else. Number two, you keep your booger hook off the trigger until you are ready to fire. We don't run around like they do in the movies with our guns up by our heads or racing around with our bogle hooks inside a trigger guard hovering over that trigger. We bump into something, something happens, click bang, somebody gets shot, somebody gets hurt, they have an AD. No, it's not an AD, it's a negligent. They go discharge at that point. So, number three. What do we think number three might be? Know your target and what's beyond your target. You need to identify your target. Unfortunately, uh, we do have some idiot hunters out there who don't. Um, in this state several years ago, and just recently about two years ago, uh, hunters have shot humans because, oh, I thought I saw a deer. I saw something white. I shot at it. And then, oh my God, it was a human. I just killed somebody. You're a friggin' idiot. If you don't clearly identify your target, then you have no business sending that round. And you need to know what's beyond your target. Because if you're around, right there, that piece of brass or lead overpenetrates that target or misses that target and hits something else that it's not supposed to hit, you own it. And number four. You don't ever shoot at anything that you are not willing to kill, destroy, or buy. So if you are not willing to kill that person or that animal, destroy that person or that animal or that target for whatever reason, or buy it if it's an object, you have no business sending that round. So if you can get those four things in your head and memorize them and practice them, you should be fine. Treat every gun as if it's loaded. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. Know your target, what's beyond it, and never shoot anything you're not willing to kill, destroy, or buy. The scary black gun. Read the hat. So even though I took this out of my own case, and I know that it was unloaded, I still cleared the chamber and made sure it actually was indeed still unloaded. One of the four rules of gun safety right there. Always know the status of your gun. <coughs> Helps prevent accidents from happening so this is the gun that will devastate a deer because it's gonna devastate a deer it's scary right 
Well, all right. You don't get to see my serial number. Okay, we got an optic on it. Bit of flip sight. Forward sight. Average, run of the mill, scary, assault rifle 15. Nope, sorry. AR stands for Arma Light. A R M A L I T E. Arma Light, not assault rifle that shoots 15 bullets a second. A little more education for the this side gun experts who really don't have a freaking clue. Now, on this safety selector, you're going to notice we have safe and fire, right? You're also going to notice we don't have any hole up here. We don't have any other pin up here either. Hmm. So, when you turn the fun switch on, that's where it goes. Fire. It stops. It doesn't go any further. Which really sucks. Now, if we had a uh, <clears throat> certain hole up here with a certain pin through it, this would push a little further forward, and that arrow would come back. And we'd have an automatic. But, since we're not allowed to have those, to keep people safe, you know. This is just a semi-automatic so you pull the bang button one time right here you're gonna get one bang one bullet how about that not oh you're gonna pull this back and it goes bat, 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 bat. kind of like the automatic shotguns and looney tunes you know <laughs> Yeah, double barrel shotgun that shoots like 24 friggin' rounds out of it in automatic mode. Yeah, keep believing that type of stuff. So, it's semi-automatic. Also, for anybody who doesn't know, and it's probably the same way in all the states, you can't hunt with a machine gun. Nope. You can, but it's illegal. Um, also, to possess a machine gun, you've got to jump through so many hoops. Number one, you're pretty well going to be rich. Then you're going to have tax stamps. You're going to register the damn thing. ATF's going to want to know where you live. Um, yeah, that's a headache and a hassle. So to do it legally, well, you're going to have to go through all that. But anyway, even if you have a machine gun, even if it's illegal, you can't hunt with it. So, even with this gun where you just pull the bangy button with your booger hook. Yes, I said booger hook. One time, goes click bang, click bang, click bang. Well, you can't have too many pew pews in your magazine. Or you're breaking the law. So, you have to have a magazine that holds no more than five pew pews. You're probably going to find something about like that in most of the states. That's the way it is here. So, if you take a scary standard capacity, incorrectly stated as high capacity magazine, slap that up in there, or a 20 rounder, or a 15. If it's not physically blocked, so that it only holds five little bangers in there, you're breaking the law. Hmm. Well, that's the way it's written, so that's the way you got to do it. So at most, you're going to get six shots, because you can have one in the chamber and five in the magazine. Then you got to reload it. Well, you shouldn't need that many for deer. But okay. So anyway, the AR-15s are going to shoot. Point two two threes five fifty six, same caliber. 
maybe a 7.62. I don't, I don't have that caliber. Maybe a 308. Then we're going to be pretty much your standard AR-15s that people would hunt with. But it's going to devastate deer. Remember that. So you use your booger hook, squeeze the trigger once, and one round down to hit that deer. You devastated that deer. Well, here's the 223 right there. And for those who don't know, this is not a bullet. This whole thing ain't coming out the end of that gun and going flying to get that deer or anything else. Just not going to happen. This part outside of my fingers is called the casing. The part inside of my fingers, now outside of my fingers, this little itty bitty part right out here. You can see a little bit of a demarcation point right there. This little itty bitty part. That's your bullet. Alright, so once these separate, you have a spent casing, and then your bullet's gone wherever you sent it. So that little itty bitty bullet, look how tiny that thing is. Yeah, it's a hollow point. That little itty bitty thing is going to devastate that deer. Oh, awful. It's terrible. Well, you'd be interested to know where these anti guns people, gun haters, actually think they get their knowledge from. Because what is a 223 round? Here's a 22 round. Here's a 223. Notice I'm saying 22 here a lot, right? 0.223. This is a 0.22. I might not have a PhD. I might not have a doctorate. I might not have graduated as a valedictorian. A 0.22 on this side and 0.22 on this side seems like a pretty close number to me, right? Oh, but this is 0.223. Oh, wow. 0.223. Oh, that's a lot bigger round, right? Right. All this round is is a souped up version of this round. Every day, run of the mill, 22. If you want to argue that, you can put this round through the AR-15. Yeah, I've got the conversion kit to do it. I'm sure a lot of people do, because it's a lot cheap, uh, cheaper to shoot these than it is to shoot these. So you can pull out your bolt carrier group, which I'm sure the AR-15 experts probably don't know what that is. You can yank that BCG out, replace it with a conversion kit, and pop in the magazine that holds the 22 rounds, and uh, have a little fun for a lot cheaper. So yeah, that bullet will go through the same exact size barrel as that bullet. How about that? So do they say that a 22 is going to devastate a deer? Haven't heard that one yet. Now, we can't legally shoot deer in the state with a 22. It has to be a 22 Magnum. Same caliber, just longer brass, got a higher charge behind it. Okay. But 22 caliber is good to go as long as it's Magnum or higher. Anyway, back to the point. This 22 caliber at one shot, maybe two if you need to take two, 
is going to devastate that poor deer. Well, what about if we're hunting with 308? Well, 308's cool, right? I mean, hey, we can do it. We can do a deer with a 308. That's a hunting gun. That's made for hunting. It's designed for hunting. AR is designed to kill people. Well, we don't think we can't kill people with this. Yeah, yeah you can kill people with this. Sure. So you can get a scope on it. Get some magnification. But guns aren't designed to kill people. They're tools. I hunt with that. I hunt with this. Lots of people hunt with that. Lots of people hunt with this. So this hunting gun, oh, because he even got camo. That's cool, huh? Shoots that bullet. I'll put this back in case. So this bullet, a hunting bullet, oh, it's cool. It's good. I'm not going to devastate a deer. Well, what does this look like against that scary AR-15 round? Holy crap. See the difference already? You can put the tip of the 223 inside the tip of the 308. Hmm. And we'll stand them up like this, end for end. Line them up. Look at that. Check that out. Overall, it's longer. But that doesn't matter because the whole thing's not going up the barrel, right? Some people probably would tell you that. So let's just look at the bullet. Let's line it right up. Right where the bullet meets the casings. Look at the size difference. It's longer, it's fatter. Hmm. Now let's look at the casing difference. Check that out. Bigger around. It's longer. This one is going to pack a lot more of a punch than this little baby is. But this one's cool. But this scary little AR round ain't. At least that's what the experts will tell you. So, I don't know where they get their education on guns and AR-15s. But, hey, I learned a lot from them. 